I'm looking forward to this. Um, somebody called Jenny has sent in a set of dovetails for me to critique, and we decided to do this to camera, and um, uh, because we thought it would be helpful for everybody and encourage everybody that this can happen. So uh, if you want your uh, dovetails critiqued, then you can send them in. We'll, there's a link on there so, uh, that you can follow. And um, we probably won't video every single one that people send in, but I think it would be very helpful. You will get an email from me or something like that that will encourage you and show you where... This is just feedback, this isn't criticism, this is just to give good feedback to help people, as in this case with Jenny, to show that um, the, the ways that they could improve their woodwork, and that's what I want to do for Jenny. So Jenny, I am talking now to you because you were the person that went out on a limb and decided to send in this, these two pieces of wood to me. So I've taken a look at your project, I like it. I like the way you cut the dovetails, uh, first of all, it was very nice. Um, so the work uh, that you did, I thought, was really nice. And sometimes, you know, we expect to cut perfect dovetails straight away simply because we understand the task. But in reality, our body doesn't quite respond, our eyes don't quite line up, our arm doesn't quite line up, and it doesn't come out as perfectly as it could have done. So I'm going to walk you through a few of the things that I've looked at on this that will help you with your dovetails. So here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, let me put it together first so you can see it. Now, there are some hammer marks inside here that I didn't do. So I assume it was you, Jenny, when you took it apart. I think if we look at the outside with the joint together, we'll have a better idea of what we're looking at. There's a gap along this line here and a slightly narrower gap. Well, it's quite a bit narrow on this line here. I suspect that this shoulder is, is at a different height to this one. When I look inside, I've got a gap here, and I've got no, or a very minimal gap on this side. Something's awry there, and I'm not quite sure what it is until I put my square to it. The most important tool in the wood shop is the square, because you can tell so much by using it in, in a, a, a project like this. I've got a gap down here, and a gap down here. So something's been cut out of square and the gap here. So this means that when we put the square on, we'll be able to identify where we went wrong. We've got a gap on the shoulder at the top there. I don't want you thinking for one minute, this is the most terrible thing that you've ever done or that I've ever seen. It's not that at all. Please don't feel discouraged. You should feel very encouraged by this. We've got a gap here and yet we're tight down in there and we're tight on this corner. I think you'll be able to see there's a pencil line here, which is a telltale line, which means we didn't quite cut to the line because we can see an incline on that shoulder. So let's see if I can get this apart. You see, this dovetail would hold together. If you glued this, put it together, it would stay together for 100 years, no problem. Okay. Let's take a look at this part here and here. If I put the pad of my finger on here, I can feel a bump in the middle. So if I take my square, place it on here, I've got a gap between the edge of the, the corner edge of the, pin, of the uh, tail recess and the underside of my square. If I look inside, by turning this around, I don't have a gap on this side. It's, it's tight up against the underside of the blade of the square. So I know that there's an issue there, which means we didn't transfer the cut line. So if I took this, placed this on that bottom line there, make sure my stock is square up against it. If I put a mark on this corner here, Come round to this corner, drop into there, and make another mark here, and then I come over here, squeeze the square right on here. I can see a gap. I can see there's a discrepancy. This is where the line should be. Now, my question to you, Jenny, is did you use a knife wall or did you just use a pencil? Because the knife wall is really very definitive and where I would just like to know that for my own uh, question, really. So we're going to look at, we did this pin recess, uh, tail recess, we're going to do this one now. Let's have a look here. 
if I slide the square along there, right on that inside corner, right there, there's a big old gap. And then the, the square is hitting right there in that midsection, but there's another gap on this side here, which means when I put the pad of my finger on, I've got a hump in there. So it's going rising up in that midsection. So instead of paring down, we've just allowed that slight hump in the middle, which is causing the gap. So that's another source of the gap. If I eyeball this from side to, from back to back, I can see that this has caused a twist. So when we put the dovetail together like this, you'll find you've got the gap on one side and a gap on the inside on the opposite dovetail uh, recess. So that's where that problem is caused. So that's very important to get those knife walls around there and cut precisely to the knife walls. Other than that, I think it was great. Now then, these gaps in here that we had at the bottom part of the tail recess, watch this and you'll see if I go across here, right here, Make sure I'm registered fully against the ends of the pins, assuming, of course, that these were indeed square. If I take a pencil line in here, there I can see that this was out of square. Now, I think this could be because you used a chisel to pair cut the surface of the dovetail. I'll tell you this, I generally don't pair cut my tails or my pins ever. I try to get them directly off the saw. So I don't go in with a chisel. Some schools will teach that you can do that. It's not really correct. Most of the dovetails that I've ever seen cut will be cut directly from the saw, especially if you look into old methods. So there again, I put a pencil line on there I've got a gap, uh, it's tight at the bottom, that will show us a gap. All of these will show us gaps. Let's check this side. Being, now this side isn't really so far out. Let me have a look, see if I can mark it for you. Just ever so slightly out of, whoops, ever so slightly out of square. I'm not sure if this will show now I've slipped. Okay. Very good though, Jenny. I'm, I'm really happy that you sent this in to me. So this one is ever so slightly out of square. Enough there where I would say that the wood would compress. So generally, you've done a great job. Um, pair cutting the, the, the pin recesses at the bottoms, we do do that. that I don't want you to think that you um, don't ever pair cut because there is no saw cut, that's your chisel work. But on the sides of these pins, you should generally try to get them directly off the chisel, uh, off the saw. <clears throat> I think we've just about covered everything that I want to. Oh, this was uh, the shoulder line on this. This rising, I did mention it before, this is much higher than this point here. So when I bring the square across, you have got lines there that you should have worked to. And if you had used a knife wall, I think you would have seen that, that that knife wall would leave a slight rim that you could work to with a pear cut and that would give you the perfect line. So please keep at it, keep practicing, make another few dovetails and then make your box, get everything together and in a, in a very short time, you'll be making dovetails just as well as any pro. Mm -hmm.